What is going on guys, this is Crystal back here with another video y'all And today we are going to talk about the last addressing mode Which is implicit addressing mode in 8085 So first I'm gonna write an example so far is easy for you guys to understand And what this example does, it complements the content of the accumulator Now, <clears throat> let me write this and you guys can, uh, you know, make notes well, there is no need for me to write, but it's easy for you guys to understand if I write after I've explained you guys. So it's, you know, easy to keep this in mind. The first point I'd like to mention is, as you can see, that this is a single command. So, uh, sorry, it, this only consists of the opcode. So, of course, it's going to be a single or one by instruction we only have the opcode here now as you can see it has it is called a cma so i write what this means complement accumulator now most of the time the operand here is the accumulator so i'll write that The third one I'd like to mention this and, uh, is that this is, uh, you know, most of the logical group instruction. We are going to talk about the uh, groups too in the next video series. But uh, for this, you guys just, you know, get on with it. And the most of the logical group instructions belong to this addressing mode now the most of the logical group instructions which so these instructions are grouped into uh, some categories and the logical group the logical group instructions belong to this mode well most of them not all of them all right and the fourth point i'd like to mention here is all actions occur within the cpu as you guys can see that there's an opcode which only has the accumulator and the accumulator is a register inside the cpu so all the action occurs inside the cpu now uh, one more point I'd like to mention here that the actual operand is not specified in the instruction But it is predetermined that is the accumulator and the result is of course stored in the accumulator So we'll write the result is stored in accumulator and the operand is predetermined that is the accumulator is our operand i hope you guys understand this uh video but i